Channel 2 investigates the world of black market weapons. A Conroe man was recently sentenced to federal prison for making and selling machine guns without a federal license. Uh, the case was investigated by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives. Investigator Robert Arnold got an inside look at an undercover operation spanning from Nebraska to our area and heard why federal agents had to act quickly to stop these guns from getting into the hands of criminals. This is a glimpse into the world of black market weapons. He was very open about what he could do and when he could do it. Assistant Special Agent in charge of the ATF's Houston office, Mickey French, is talking about the man seen in this undercover video, Michael Lee Price. Offered to make machine guns, silencers, short barreled rifles. Last summer, Price was arrested after the ATF got a tip. He was not shy about telling people he could make untraceable machine guns and was looking for buyers. The undercover has to work fast. He has to gain the confidence of the seller. If you guys didn't buy him, somebody was going to. Exactly. Undercover ATF agents did just that, set up a meeting with Price and cut a deal to buy fully automatic weapons without serial numbers engraved. No serial numbers means the weapons can't be traced to a manufacturer or seller. ATF then learned that while Price lived at an apartment complex in Conroe, he was not making the guns here. He was making them in the state of Nebraska. Why Nebraska? Uh, Mr. Price was making these weapons at his parents' home in Nebraska. French says Price got the know-how and the equipment to make the guns online. Basically allowed to, to him to teach himself. That's something Channel 2 Investigates has shown you before. Buying what you need for a do-it-yourself semi-automatic rifle can be found online legal as long as you keep the gun for personal use. The difference with Price is he was building fully automatic guns. Building one of these requires a federal license, paying a special tax, engraving a serial number, and registering the weapon with the government along with several other restrictions. The ATF says Price did none of that. Court records show Price already had a criminal record and was in serious debt. The ATF had another concern. They didn't want Price driving hundreds of miles from Nebraska with a trunk full of untraceable machine guns. Making sure that they didn't get lost, stolen, or anything happened to them. To shorten the distance, the ATF set a meeting in Colorado. That's where video shows Price selling the guns to an undercover agent. Price was quickly arrested and charged with illegal possession of a machine gun, possession of an unregistered machine gun, and engaging in the business of firearms without a license. These were the weapons the ATF actually bought. That is correct. The ATF confiscated everything, and agents say Price's goal was to expand his weapon-making business. There was still one more question. Who did he think he was selling to exactly? It was relayed that he was going to be making these machine guns, silencers, short barrel rifles for a criminal organization. So this wasn't just some poor guy who was down on his luck and was looking to make a quick buck. This is somebody who had no problem selling to criminals. And he didn't have a problem selling to criminals that openly uh, admitted that they were about to start a war. Court records show Price pleaded guilty to three charges and was sentenced to 37 months in federal prison. If you'd like to get a look at some of the documents in this case, head to the Investigate section of Click2Houston.com. Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.